Good evening. We saw it go up in flames and heard of the heroic police officers who risked their lives after an explosion at a shop in Wentworthville. But tonight, astonishing security vision has emerged that captures in sharp focus an arsonist sneaking into the building, spreading petrol, then sparking the blast that left 10 men injured. A hooded figure in the night creeping into the supermarket, carrying what appears to be a can of petrol. Then the shattering explosion that trapped him in the blazing ruins and hurled a man sleeping upstairs, down through the rubble and along the footpath. The shop transformed into a roaring inferno. Oh, there's people up. Oh, no. The victim, detectives say, owns the burning business, screams for help. Police officers heroically battle to reach him and pay the price. Security cameras at the Wentworthville Hotel capture every moment from the start. You can see the man enter the supermarket, then dodge around the corner when a police car drives past, its lights on the left of the screen. Then the petrol ignites, by this time a virtual vapour bomb. Debris flies across the street, the building collapses in a shower of bricks and rubble. A cloud of smoke billows into the street and in a backdraft is sucked back into the blast zone. Crashing and crawling from the pall of destruction, a man who'd been sleeping in a flat upstairs. Injured, he's helped by the first people who rush to the rescue. Are you okay? The business owner then incredibly claws his way from under a pile of bricks. The 36-year-old father is almost roasted alive, his clothes smouldering. Oh, no. Oh, my God. He appears to be beating at superheated debris, flames and secondary explosions searing his body, desperately waving for help. <laughs> A man tries to reach him even as the fire flares, but he's beaten back. Yet another blast flashes through the rubble, the trapped man struggling to free himself. Incredibly brave, two police officers try again, joined by yet another two, then more. You can see some of them are in short sleeves. They try repeatedly, but the scorching wall of heat is too much. Eventually, fire crews arrive, saving the man from almost certain death. He has suffered burns, broken both legs, his hip and injured his neck. Eight police officers were also taken to Westmead, suffering from burns and breathing in smoke. It's very sad. Could have been worse, could have been everybody else down the block as well. You know, a lot of damage has been done. It's very sad to see a lot of people have been hurt. The vision, mostly shot from the Wentworthville Hotel, was meant by its management to help improve safety in the area. As well, it has caught an alleged arsonist at work. OK, let's go live to Dimity at the scene. Dimity police have now laid charges over this fire. That's right, Pete. 36-year-old Chardy Juma was well enough today to be formally interviewed by detectives in his hospital bed. He was subsequently charged with destroy property with intent to endanger life. Now, police say their investigation certainly centred around that security footage captured by the Wentworthville Hotel. But, Pete, while Juma faces a long road to recovery, he's expected to face court later this month. Pete? Dimity, thank you.